Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Spaz 2. I'm your host, Brainboy20, where we had last left off. We had finally met the infection, and now it is time for us to choose our new faction. Or more of, we're given the objective of allying ourselves with a faction for now, which inevitably won't last that long. But the factions we have available for us are the Hunters, Militia, Miners, Civilian, and Science. And we kind of need an allied faction in order to help us track and hunt down the infested. So, what exactly do we wish to do here? Which faction do we wish to join? I know that the bounty hunters would hate my guts, considering I kind of wiped them out of the central subsystems in the original game of Spaz, from a purely roleplay standpoint. Militia, which is basically remnants of UTA, I don't care about them. I guess we might actually go with the miners. It'd be fun to mess with Mackenzie again, Mackenzie's crew. He says he just hacked into him, plus heavy armor doesn't hurt. Oh, we might actually just join whatever faction these bandits end up in, because why not go into a little bit of combat? That sounds very zombie-like. I think we actually have it under our duty to kill you. You're out of range. You're both closing in, but we're gonna take this way back. I'm trying to kill the strike craft. I'm trying to be in the operative term here. Boys, we all know that this needs to work out. Was that one of our strike craft? You son of a bitch! You got you deserve to die now. I should also get some situational awareness considering I think I just ran into an asteroid. Bandits have been slain. That looks like the zombie infested, but let's not go poking around there. In fact, let's go to the star map and leave. Take all of it. And the science faction likes me a little bit more, which admittedly I don't actually hate. Is, it, is the owner literally just so? No, there's multiples. You're the factional leader. Sorry, you're the factual leader, Dr. Toxico. I'm gonna go back with the miners. Yes, yeah, so you don't mind me. I'm gonna go back with the miners because I don't like anyone else here. Although we need to do some lore because we definitely have a lot more here that still remains for us. you have. The Dark Entity. After the discovery of an ancient alien warp gate, it was theorized that the Dark Entity had previously cleansed the galaxy of all life or seeded it afterwards for later consumption. This process may also have been a reoccurring cycle, to which the creation of all life originated. While the builders of the ancient gate were long extinct, humanity was successful in refurbishing it. It led to a twisted dimension where the Dark Entity's physical body resided. With the location of its corporeal form now accessible, it succumbed to a flurry of bullets and bombs not unlike the life form humanity was previously familiar with. I mean, we still need to finish up how much lore? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 more bits of lore. Seemed normal. But class, it's time to continue. What exactly is res? What exactly is a res? Can anyone tell me? No? Res. Under heavy gamma ray bombardment, the natural phasing process of res is slowed, allowing it to be refined and stabilized. Refined res has countless applications. It can be easily transmuted into other forms of matter, making it the dough like material of the universe. It can also be rendered into an energy producing state often used for warp fuel. Res also happens to make a nice tea, despite its nightmarish origins. 
Astonishingly, the substance has been in a rapid state of change after its initial discovery. The oscillating multi-phase frequency of res has more than tripled in the last decade, allowing it to remain in its corporeal state for longer periods. While being nearly impossible to detect in early history, it cannot be seen with the naked eye in many cases. Almost as if it's the adaptive substance that makes zombies. Oh no. Who knew? We have a little bit more lore to get through, so... Might as well continue. The sovereignty of science. Let's take a look. I'm actually really curious. This is probably about the science faction. So, what does it have to say? Following the dark infection, a few scientists established a group dedicated to investigation of the dark entity. They reached out to the best and brightest survivors of the void that had to offer. Unfortunately, they were plagued by constant bandit attacks until they enacted a minimal contact policy with other factions. Now they cling to life like the rest of the galaxy, having all but given up upon the scientific endeavor it was founded upon. Certainly interesting. Certainly interesting. I get the feeling this is actually my microphone has been messed with for some reason, but I've not been able to determine the case that if that is a factually correct statement. But that's the, about the three lores that we have to go through. We're also burning res like no tomorrow. But it feels like we're going way too slow otherwise. Wow, sovereignty of science. Really, you're attacking the minor section? Is the minor section just, like, heavily being beset upon by all sides? Hey, space! I'm gonna paint the ship's hull with your blood. Yes. And it's not as if we don't outnumber you, like, 20 to 1. Engaging. Oh, great. Infected signals detected. Fantastic. I wanted to deal with zombies today. <laughs> Alright, looks like we have some infested to deal with. Like, we have the turtle might be engaged, and we shouldn't be having any issue. Yep. Uh, are you gonna say something else, Raven Queen, or is your answer just going to be an unceremonious yep? Yep, that was a thing. Apparently. I'll take all. I'll take the strike craft as well. Dr. Fiberson, Dr. Fiberson, Haven frequency isn't open. I would like to join your faction. You don't like me enough. Okay, well, okay. let's make you guys like me. Are there any bandits around here? Not really. Shall we waste time until there are bandits? I don't think that's a bad idea. Let's go join this little captain here and see what happens. Personally, I would have loved to build my own faction, but naturally we had to join a faction first. Is there another pulsar? Are the suns literally colliding with one another? Interesting. I mean, we are definitely trying to empower ourselves further. Also, I should really be like more concerned because I actually have a very quick turn. Unlike what I previously thought, I actually have very quick turning here. As such, I really should be careful about what side I'm faced on. And please tell me you're like an alien brain and not an actual human being. Goodbye, sir. Take all. I'm curious, you're Dr. Kane? Are you? All the reason you need to not stand in front of the microwave. Okay. Um. There's nothing to actually trade with there. You just exist. Unfortunately, I don't have the factional reputation here, so let's just waste time until some more bandits are ready. Let's figure out some more on the dark entity. This will be the last bit of our history lesson here, class. Some now believe that without the Dark Entity, life will run rampant across the cosmos like locusts, or that the universe will fling itself apart. A few believe the Dark Entity is eternally present and cannot be simply be extinguished. 
How does it, evidence suggest that the Dark Entity is much older than the galaxy itself? As such a creature can survive the chaos of the Big Bang, it is reasonable to assume that a fledgling race like humankind are not be able to harm it. This destruction may also have been an integral part of its reoccurring life cycle, or perhaps another chapter of the Entity's self-evolution. Self Certainly interesting theories, but the truth is probably stranger than fiction. Probably. Are there any other bandits? Is there any, like, a factional... Like, I would... I don't want to stop it, but I kind of want to help it. Near the UTA? Yeah, don't have a problem with hurting you. No, that would make more sense if we were actually the invaders, but we're not the invaders here. Bandits. Not an issue. Were you aimed at us? Yeah, kind of a loser. We'll yeah, you better fork over everything you got. Well then, you are a dick. We're gonna drop our cargo anyway, so we'll surrender the cargo. What are we surrendering anyway? Oh, surrender a certain amount. Okay, a certain amount of scrap. Here's like res and goons that- oh wait, we actually have need of the goons. Almost there. Would surrender it. Every hey there. Why are you bothering me exactly? I don't want to fight. I want to target this. Please. We we're forced to surrender and drop our cargo, but it's not a humongous issue here. So UTA, just like old times, eh? Just like old times, old me. It's destroying you horrendously, and it looks like you're an infected vessel. Looks like the infestation is being active. That doesn't seem good. I kind of want to stop that. And the area is clear already. That was altogether disappointing. There's a nice reward for that. You still don't like me enough for me to actually join your faction, I'm fairly certain. Oh, I want to go hunt down that bandit with everybody else. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, I'll kill you. You're a dick. Can I just close it? Because I don't think I even have enough, unless I sell off literally everything. Like, I don't even know why I'm a part of this faction. I might just leave either doing this constantly. Because I don't think I can actually afford it. <laughs> yeah, that's all my res. I have got parts. There's also a fat load of nothing remaining. Looks like we're just going to have to fight and run. Apparently this faction hates my guts for whatever reason. Immediately run to the gate. We'll broadside you. We'll broadside you in the hopes that we can escape. We all know that that was a lie and we're not going to be able to. I've also just rammed into this. Yeah, no, I, they're, they're, I'm already dead, apparently. This is fantastic. I'm not even going to this. I didn't want to choose to fight you. You choose. You had chosen to. No. No, screw you all. I'm leaving. Thought you guys were actually decent people, but instead, hey, we're just gonna raid the ever living heck out of you. Oh, I think I've made the UTA mad at me. Who doesn't hate my guts? I'm really curious. Who doesn't hate my guts? 
the miners. It's just that one person in there who's just going to pick on me constantly. Because I happen to be of the weaker faction. Well, we can stop, like, burning rubber. We just have to pay attention and run away whenever anyone decides to show. Are there any bandits? Any bandits? No. Hey there. That's useless to me now. You can deal with that yourself. I have to zoom out to find anything. That's the bigger issue here. I mean, there's invasions like this that are my lifeblood for making the faction like me a little bit more. Let's see if we can corral him to a semi-decent location. And are you burning rubber? You are. Don't lie to me. Oh, this is gonna be a long process, isn't it? I think I've made a mistake by just trying to go through it without just doing all the stuff myself. Aside from that first, but at least it's a heaping helping of combat. Unfortunately, it's the weakest people here. Aside from ourselves, because apparently our ships are some of the weakest in the galaxy. Aside from that. It's also a good time to like level up the starship so I can actually be usable against the zombies. I guess the game is expecting you to do a lot more leveling and a lot more I don't liar. Wasn't there anything around here that I was missing? Because I thought I saw a piece fly off into the void. Apparently not. Oh, there are massive superstructures out there. It's like the remnants of the old warp gate that we're fighting around. Which I guess makes sense that those would be natural combat locations. But I should have actually taken a look out here earlier because this looks awesome. Yeah, we're leaving before we even reload. Did it take all of it? Can, can we not? There we go. I wanted to scavenge first, to so find Game anything else, safe. but apparently not. Is there anything else here that is to my benefit? As a threat of 20, we are not going to bother trying. It's not yet. I'm really just looking for, like, bandits around a bunch of their faction. Or a factional conflict that makes sense. You know what? Hey, we have bandits right here. Head in this direction, please. Corral them. I'm gonna drink the marrow from your bones! <laughs> go ahead. There we go, they're in that territory. <sighs> this is actually a bit of a grind. Oh, hey. Friends! How do you know where you, where you came from? Which faction are you from? Are you just an independent captain? Or just kill bandits and passing at this point? And currently, I'm trying to be very careful with my shots so I don't accidentally shoot my ally. Because I'm fairly certain my ally is infinitely stronger than I am and will never be able to have me take him on. Because, in all honesty, a little bit of the tactics that belonged in the original Spaz seem to have been lost. Okay, vodka. You're a top shelf after all. But, like, a, a lot of the original factional stuff seems to have lost. Not factional stuff, sorry. A lot of the original. Like, ability for a much weaker ship to take on a stronger ship seems to have been lost. Like, the original. I'm going to build a stealth vessel with a shotgun. Your ship may be incredibly strong. But if you have no stealth sensing capabilities, I can just kite your ship to eternity and eventually kill you through that alone. Uh, is there any... Oh, there is banditos up here. We're basically doing bandithunting.exe. I just want to get them 
bandits nearby a bunch of ships that are all flying away from here. Does not seem good. You should probably go get checked by a doctor. The infected are also doing something screwy here. Fantastic. Bandits are already dead. I'm more concerned about the zombies that are running around here. Unless the bandits are actually like infested individuals. Strike craft. Hilarious. It was the tug, wasn't it? Yeah. Now I see it floating off the depths of space. I'm gonna have my ally do everything. We don't need to hunt down anything. He can do uh, he can do the entire cruise work. Okay. That does take all the battle salvage. Try that I'm the owner of the wreckage. Any other banditos? Any other? No. When the banditos would be useful, they're never present. I might even make the UTA like me more than the actual faction I'm supposed to be joining. I'm so glad there are no infested signals. Although, what's that purple spike coming out of that infested location? I'm now more than curious. Are there any, like, mini dark entities? So what's up with, like, these spiraling arrows of doom? That that ship is flying. Is that the, like, gravitational beam that slows you down? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, graviton missiles were always a thing. I completely forgot this existed. He may run, but he can't hide from the inevitable death. Although we did lose one of our strength craft again. It's not like we actually have decent strength craft. I also don't know why I thought flying the explosion would be a good idea. You know, it's one that also got you killed, depending on if you're like a much smaller ship taking on something infinitely bigger. It doesn't matter what I did, the missiles took care of the rest of it. And we got to level six. Behold! The power of the science! It's only a matter of time before I can computerize the entire crew, invalidating the need for pointless chatter such as this. Boost, recharge, capacitor, probably capacitor, and we could also do shield strength, but capacitor seems better. Keep fighting. Alright, I'm currently just kind of stuck waiting because I'm trying to get the factional like, relations up to a decent level. Didn't Arena also made it so people actually liked you more? Arena events use simulated ships. Your real ship will be safe in port while you're playing the event. Arena events do however factor in your personal perks. Found them too difficult to come back later after you've advanced. Goblin. Drain the enemy shields and then swarm them with dozens of missiles. Hit and run. Loading a rear program. Requires buffering, apparently. Okay, so there's a shield draining section. I kind of want the missiles to fire off, though. I suppose that's one way to do things, although it seems like it's a really slow way. This ship also has, like, no turning radius, by the way. Oh, that's point defense. 
Trail Point defense was also a thing in the original Spaz. I just never used it because I might made my ships incredibly tanky towards everything. With either incredibly quickly recharging shields or shields that just never went down. Shields are fine. Like, if I can independently fire the weapons, that'd be fantastic, but I would need to figure out how to do that first. An arena complete. Level 1. Success. Star map. Game safe. Like, I don't know if my factional relations are going up, or are we just messing around doing nothing, or... Is that the moon man? Yeah, you better fork over everything you got. Okay. This is even that big of an issue. I have more crew than I could ever possibly need. In fact, make it your problem, not mine. Like, I don't need this many goons, period. I'm also getting a lot of scrap off of this. I just pay for the rest of it. Yeah, it's a sucker born every minute. Game safe. Alright, do you hate my gut still? No, you, you like me a little bit. Just a little bit more. We'll repair our ship for one measly scrap, and I think we'll call it a video here. As it's definitely getting close to time, and I think this is getting quite dull. So, if you enjoyed the video, this has been Rainbow 20, but let's play Spaz 2, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe, it helps out a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. When we come back, we will be attempting... Well, I'll have done a little bit of off-screen grinding, unless we encounter other ships that are doing stupid things like attacking us for no reason. And hopefully after all said and done, we will be able to join the mining faction. But until then, I hope to see you all next time.